most people aren't players. And what I mean by players, not guitar players, I'm talking about players in the world, touring musicians, the players, you know, the, the really good actors, the extraordinary scientists, whatever it is, right? But when you get in the room with the real guys, oh, you gotta duck, because it's very powerful, right? And so, in order to compete in that arena, it's way above um, your original expectations. It's why you were sweating so much when he was trying to talk to you about where the one was. Yeah. And this kind of work ethic that he's discussing is uh, beyond important. If you really want to make a living playing guitar, if you really want to make a living playing bass or be a musician or drummer, you're going to have to find yourself a mentor that can teach you. You're going to have to find another mentor that can teach you. You're going to have to find another mentor that can teach you. And you're going to have to do what it is that um, they have you doing it, and you've got to be dedicated way more than everybody else. When you come to a school to learn about being a guitar player, you know, a lot of times people focus on playing all the scales and playing as fast as you can and all this stuff that doesn't necessarily help you make good music. It helps you look cool and do all this kind of stuff, but, you know, uh, a guitar player also needs to be a musician. And so for me, when I did this whole Zappa Play Zappa thing, I had to graduate from being a guitar player to being a musician, being able to work with other musicians and, and really develop what happens in a band where everybody's got a part and, they, and, and all those parts have to come together. It's not just about, you guys are in the background and check out my solo, you know, it's, it has to be this musical, you know, experience.